All right. Hello and welcome. We're going to be going over a video from Witsit regarding the Georgia Guidestones. Somebody brought this up on Flat Earth Fridays, episode 114 last week. And I wanted to uh, put some light on this video. It, it's an oldie, but a goodie. So without further ado, we'll get into it here. Oh, what's up, guys? A lot of people here, they got to hear the truth. So we're going to take you along to the journey. This whole, this whole thing's about to change. So what's up, everybody? This right here tells you the day of the year. It's a calendar because the winter and summer solstice line up perfectly in this little slot twice a year. This slot up here in the top is actually a clock. Noon every day, the sun lines up perfectly with it, so it's a clock. And this hole right here is actually a compass because it lines up perfectly with Polaris, the North Star, so that's how you know where North is. This would not work if the Earth was spinning and revolving around the sun, though, because, well, it would only work for a couple years. So the Earth's a movable and fixed, just like the, the scriptures say it is. And someone spent almost a million dollars to build this thing. It's all about rebuilding Babylon. That's why it has Babylonian cuneiform on the top of it. Right here it says maintain humanity under 500 million dollars, million people in perpetual balance with nature. I thought there was 8 billion people on the earth though, so apparently they got to take a lot of people out. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity, which is just eugenics. Unite humanity with a living new language. Just like Babylon had one language when they tried to build a tower to heaven, and then God intervened and confounded their languages and broke it up. That's what this is all about. They want to rebuild Babylon, which is why I took the world over last year and shut it down overnight. I told you to be scared of the air. Babylonian cuneiform on the top. This is Egyptian holographics right here on the top. This is Sanskrit right here on the top. And this is ancient Greek on the top. So, again, this acts as a compass, a calendar, and a clock. This would not work if the Earth was spinning 1,040 miles per hour east of the equator. While going around the sun 66,600 miles per hour, while the sun shoots 500,000 miles per hour through the universe, while the galaxy shoots 1.3 million miles per hour through the universe, because this wouldn't work. Because it wouldn't line up with Polaris every single night, which we did a time lapse last time, proved it. Then we have, of course, this wouldn't be a calendar with the solstices every single year, because the Earth's supposedly spinning and shooting through space. So the people that spent millions of dollars to build this, they know what the Earth really is. It's in the center of everything. It's immovable and fixed. The scriptures are literally true. It's an attack on the scriptures. This is a knockoff of the commandments. So we have 10 commandments, so they made their own commandments. And they think they have the right to kill majority of the earth. It's a guy who's allowed to reproduce, to unite the entire world with one language, just like Babylon had until God intervened and broke them up to different languages. Rule well, past and faith and tradition, all things with tempered reason. Sounds good. That's going to be the one world religion. Protect people and nations with fair, fair laws and just courts. Too bad we don't get that right now. But all the nations were internally resolving external disputes in a world court. This is about a one world order. They want a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights with social duties because they think they're going to have a utopia once they get rid of us, the useless eaters. Price truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite because, you know, we don't need to actually read the scriptures and know the one true creator, Yahuwah, Yodhi, Bambe, the one true Hallelujah, the creator. They'll just worship the infinite and, and love and beauty and truth. It'll be the, the great deceptions coming. That's why they're telling everyone to scan their wrist and forehead when they walk in places so they get ready for the mark of the beast. And then be not a cancer on the earth. That's why I lied to you about all this nonsense about global warming and blah, blah, blah. And the leftists want to take over. Now we have Joe Biden who speaks incoherent psychopathic sentences. Donald Trump is also against you. Potentially the Antichrist, actually. So anyway, Babylonian cuneiforms. It's about rebuilding Babylon. It says on a little time capsule over here, let these be guidestones to a new age of reason. So this is this is clearly what they want to do. The people that spent millions of dollars on this, they know what the earth is because this wouldn't work if the earth was spinning. So uh, they think that we're stupid. They know that people come here and don't know what this is. It's a compass, a clock, and a calendar. They put it out in plain sight. They tell you that they want to take over the world, how they're going to do it. And they tell you exactly what the earth is with the use case of this pillar, which is a compass, clock, and calendar, because the sky resets for all recordable history for thousands of years around Polaris. North Star, which is in the center of the sky, directly over the center of the earth. So it can't be spinning and revolving. And of course, it's supposedly revolving at 66,600 miles per hour. That's 666 on a 23.4 degree tilt. Taken from a right angle of 90 degrees, it's 666. They say that the Earth is curving at 8 inches per mile square, which is 0.66 feet per mile square. And then they say the nautical mile is 6 times 6 times 600. They say that the diameter of the, of the moon is 6 times 6 times 60. But 
those are all just coincidences. And apparently, even though it doesn't feel like it's moving, it's moving. And even though it looks like it's flat, it's curving. Even though the sky looks like it's moving, it's not moving. And when we see the sunset, actually, we're falling backwards, and it just looks like the sun is setting. And even though the sun and the moon are exactly the same size in our sky, actually, the sun's 400 times bigger than the moon. It's just a coincidence that it's exactly 400 times further away, so it looks exactly the same size, so we have perfect eclipses. Or the scriptures are literally true, and there's a lesser light and a greater light, one that rules the day, one that rules the night. The moon gives its own light. They're exactly the same size because the earth is special. It's the center of everything. The creator loves you. You're not just some random monkey that evolved out of nothingness in a tiny little speck of dust in an ever-expanding universe. The creator is real. The scriptures are real. And in order to actually get through the great deception, you're going to have to get right with Yahuwah, the one true creator in the scriptures. And actually, God is the Babylonian deity from fortune and luck. That's why on the back of your dollar it says, in God we trust. And it literally says, new world order in Latin on the back of the one dollar bill. So they don't really hide what they want to do. But if I'm the crazy person that's actually gone to test the earth for five years, been kicked off PayPal, YouTube, and everything you can name, because they don't want you to know this truth, because you'll be able to see the great deception. So get ready for the mark of the beast as they condition you to wear masks that deprive you of oxygen and then walk into a store to skate in your wrist and forehead because the mark of the beast is coming they want a one world order and they built it in plain sight and told you what the rules are and they're going to try to take out most of the world it says maintain humanity under 500 million there's over 8 billion people on the earth how, how does that work so so why, why are we going to revere these people they didn't even have the audacity to say their real names they donated under a pseudonym rc christian and if he claims to be a Christian, then we don't have to notice the fact this is about rebuilding Babylon, and it's literally a knockoff of the Ten Commandments. This is blasphemous. And of course, we're actually supposed to destroy pagan uh, pagan structures, but I would go to jail, so I can do that. Sorry, I had to wake him up. My gimbal died. So, yeah, anyway. This costs hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to build it. If the Earth's a spinning magic ball that they show us cartoons of to take $60 million a day of tax money because uh, they landed on the moon in 69, but they can't go back 50 years later because that checks out and technology gets worse over time, even though my computer has higher processing capability than the entire warehouse of computers in the 60s. But anyway, they claim they went to space and that the scriptures are wrong because we proved the Earth's a ball. And if it's a ball that spins and revolves, this literally wouldn't work. So they just wasted a million dollars. That checks out. They just threw a million dollars out the window because... Here's a spinning cartoon ball where even though water always finds its level, that's why it's called sea level, and we have liquid in levels when we build houses, apparently 70% of the earth is level water that's actually bending convexly around the exterior of a spinning object in a vacuum. Of course, also, you can't have a pressurized system sitting next to a vacuum. It's the second law of thermodynamics. It says it takes the entropy will increase, so to have pressure, you have to have a container. It's in the word pressure. Pressure. It presses on the walls of the container. So when you open up your soda, the pressure equalizes, right? So it has to stay still to have the pressure. So you can't have a pressurized system adjacent to a near-perfect vacuum of 10 to the negative 17 torr that violates natural law. But they want you to think that everything came from nothing. You're a tiny speck of dust in the ever-expanding <laughs> ever universe. And the, <coughs> the scriptures are wrong. Because if you know the scriptures are true, you become much more powerful, and you're going to get to see the great deception, and they won't be able to get their creepy little new world order. So... No, the flu didn't disappear the same year the government took over. There were 38 million cases of the flu last year. Now there's only 2,000 cases of the flu. They just are trying to take over and take your rights away. Masks actually are bad for you. They, they deprive you of oxygen whenever you exhale toxins. It's trapping it there. We don't have to listen to the government. They're not our creator. The person that we answer to is the one true creator. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And Jesus is real, but his name was actually Yahshua. Either way, the Messiah is real. Get right with them so you can see the great deception because the plagues of Revelation are coming. And when the plagues come here, you actually will get sick. And if you don't have the spirit of Yah, you don't have the seal of Yah, that's the only thing that protects you against the Revelation plagues. So maybe, just maybe, we should stop fearing the air and get right with the Creator because the psychopaths that built this tell you what they want to do and all kinds of languages so everyone knows what they want to do. Sorry, dude. I was trying to eat lunch, but like... An entire like van of people popped up. I had to go and tell them the truth. I wonder what ancient Babylonian structure these stones are patterned after. Does the shape or assembly resemble anything occultic? I'm sure these were built all over the place, but other uses a compass, clock, and calendar. The Luciferian Ten Commandments, that's correct. Or the scriptures are true. Yeah, exactly. Sound is a bit shaky, but great docu, bro. Thanks. Yeah, sorry. The wind's blowing. I'm on my AirPods, but I just saw a bunch of people out here that needed to know the truth, so I had to interrupt my watch to come tell him. 
Hey, this wouldn't work if the Earth was a spinning ball, bro. This is a this is a uh, compass right here, right? This lines up with Polaris every single night, the North Star. That's how you know where North is. This slit in the top right here is a clock. This is how you know it's noon, noon because the sun lines up with this hole at 12 o'clock every day, so it's a clock. You know it's 12 o'clock. And then the winter and summer solstice, the sun lines up perfectly with here. This is how you know what day of the year it is. So it's a compass, a clock, and a calendar. Because the Earth's a move, one fixed, the sky resets as a clock over top of us for all recordable history. If, this, if the Earth was spinning and revolving and shooting through space, this wouldn't work but for a couple of years. So they would have wasted like a million dollars. This is about rebuilding Babylon. That's why I said they want to get the world population under 500 million. And then Babylonian cuneiform is right there. That's why it's in all the languages because they tried to build the Tower of Babel to heaven. And then God intervened and confounded the languages. So they're trying to rebuild Babylon and they know what the Earth really is and trying to take it over. <laughs> I had to tell you, bro. Yeah, thanks for being open-minded, though. <laughs> Have a good <laughs> there you go, man. Hey, take it or leave it, bro. Have a good one, bro. Love you guys. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of here. I just had to do that. I was trying to eat lunch, but they had to hear the truth, bro. Alright, so you can speak truth unequivocally. If you want to support the tour, dollar sign, which it gets it on cash app, which is their proton mail, PayPal. Uh the weak find contentment and the consensus of ignorance of stand tall in the face of ostracism. Thanks for that awesome breakdown. So here we're going to see what happened to the old Georgia Guidestones, because there's supposed to be a procession of, uh, of of Polaris, and it's not supposed to be in alignment with the with the Guidestones at this time. It, it would have been off by, uh, I forget the degrees off the top of my head now, but you can look that up on your own time. But anyway, the fact that it was still there, repeatable every year and not moving, not processing, um, they had to get rid of it. So let's see what happened here. Oh, are they not going to show the, the footage? Let's see if we can find the actual security file. Here it is. So they were anonymously destroyed by a bomb and no one, no suspects, nobody knows anything. They're under the, the guide stones were under 24 hour surveillance. Nobody knows anything. No one's been caught. No suspects. Video shows the moment the Georgia Guidestones in Albert County blew up. This is surveillance video sent by the GBI from just after four o'clock this morning. Video also shows what appears to be a silver or gray car speeding away from the scene. Right now, local, state and federal agencies are working to determine who's behind that explosion. The attraction was unveiled in 1980 and has drawn many people over the years. The man whose company maintains the site says vandalism has happened before, but never like this. We actually had to install cameras several years ago after the vandalism got so bad. But, um, you know, it does break my heart. Uh, you know, if, if you don't like the message that was written on them, you know, that's understandable. That's your prerogative. But, you know, there's no reason to take it away from other people that might. Crews demolished the remaining stones over safety concerns. If you know anything about the explosion, authorities ask that you come forward. You can remain anonymous. Cool. So a proof that the sky rotates and the earth is stationary was destroyed. Fantastic work. No suspects to this day.